to construct a triangle ABC given the perimeter and the ratio of sides. And then you write the perimeter is equal to 120 millimeters and the ratio of sides 3 to 4 to 5. So, from our introduction of uh, triangles, we did discuss a few properties of a triangle, right? One of which we said, um, or one of which was the perimeter, and we said the perimeter of a triangle, or any given shape for that matter, is the total distance around that given shape. Correct? So here, we want to construct a triangle whose perimeter has been given and the ratio of sides. We know that a triangle has got three sides, right? And the ratio that has been given there is the ratio of uh, three sides of a triangle. And from your mathematics, ratios and proportions, you remember how to, to do ratios and proportions? If you have been given, for example, if you've been given 120,000, 120k like this, right? And then you've been told to divide it according to this ratio here. What do you do first? You find the total ratio. I know that you know you're just pretending. You find the total ratio. So the total ratio is given by adding all these ratios, right? What is the total ratio? 12. And then this total ratio would determine the portion for each of these individuals from the 120k in our in, in this case, right? So the analytical method will say three, the first for the first one, right? Three over the total ratio, right? Times the amount that you want to uh, divide. So what are we going to have here? So 3 times 10, 30, K, like that. So for this person, you expect to have a 30K out of the 120K, right? For the next one, here we put a 4. So there we're going to have a 4. Then 40K, like that, right? For the next one, we replace this with a 5. There, right? Then we're going to have 50K. Meaning, these will, these will be the divisions. And if you add these, they will take you back to 120K. So this is the same principle here. Only that, here we're using the analytical method while we are doing calculations, right? But we want to show this using the graphical method and then we draw a line that is equal to the perimeter in length so we draw a line that is equal to 120 millimeters and call that line line de so after drawing line de here you want to divide this line which is um, equal to the perimeter, right? You want to divide it into this given ratio here. Remember how to divide the line into a given ratio. A rule, draw a slant line from any of the two end points of this line. And that slant line should be at any angle and of any length. Okay. So after drawing the slant line here, you make 12 equal marks on the slant line here. Because 12 is the total ratio, right? So you make 12 equal marks on this land line. So you get your compass, open it to any convenient radius of your choice. And then you start marking. One, two. Okay. After making the 12 equal marks, you number them in this manner according to the given ratio, right? So from zero there, you're going to have one, two, three. 
And then from 3, you are going to have 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the last one should be 0 0.5 because from 4, you are going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So now, for us to divide this line into the given ratio, we close uh, this point and that point with a straight line, right? So let's do that. After connecting this point to that point with a straight line, you draw a parallel line to this line at point 4 and at point 3. Have you seen what is happening here? And then you draw... Okay. So let's copy this one. Move it. You draw another one there. Okay, go and sit down. Madam. Let this point be your point A. Okay? And this one be your point B. Okay. The next step. Here. So obviously, only in, your, in your statement there, you're written to construct triangle ABC, right? So from that triangle, we already have A and B. The only uh, task that we have here is now to locate point C, right? Yes. So how do we come up with point C? You get your compass, place it at point A, open it to D. This is point D here. Get your compass, place it at point A, open it to D, meaning you get the distance A, D. So from point A, you strike an arc, like this one. The next step is place your compass at point B, open it to E, meaning you get the distance BE. Okay? And then you strike an arc to meet with this one. We're only interested in the point where the two arcs are meeting. So, where the two arcs are meeting, that's your point C. Uh, locating point C, you can safely draw your triangle, or you can say you can safely draw the required triangle ABC in dark lines. Triangle. A, B, C.